ChatGPT text to speech for voiceover anime recap videos. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another video. I hope all of you are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video, and in this video, we're going to be discussing about ChatGPT and how you can use this amazing AI to make voiceover anime videos, okay? Now, what are voiceover anime videos? Now, you, you've probably seen those videos around where, you know, an anime is um, shown in the back of the video. There's no sound of the anime, but there's a voiceover in front of it, you know, telling everyone that, okay, so in this anime, you know, two people are fighting each other, etc., you know, all that stuff. So, basically... A voiceover anime video gets a lot of likes and views in today's world because nowadays a lot of people are actually invested into that stuff. And, um, you know, writing a whole script for a full-fledged anime video could be be pretty lengthy it could be a lot of work so obviously it would be like natural to take an easy way out of it now what would be the best easy way out that will obviously be using an ai for this so how will we use an ai to implement the actual you know text-to-speech voice and stuff so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna come here on you know chat gpt and we're gonna go and send a message and write ourselves a prompt so you're gonna write a proper prompt like hi I have an or anime video talking channel, okay? And you can write, can you write me a script? So let, let's say Bleach. Bleach is a good anime. And you write me a script for in which I explain the Ico Mundo arc of bleach okay you're gonna write that now obviously you don't i don't if you haven't watched bleach you wouldn't understand this line but basically this is a, a season you could say or an arc of bleach okay so i'm asking this to you know explain this season to me so i'm gonna enter and let's you know wait for it to write there so there we are sure i'd be happy to help Hey there, fellow anime fans, we're going to dive into the Hoikomundo arc of Bleach. This is one of the most action-packed and intense story arcs in the series, so get ready for some serious excitement. So, as you can see, it gives us a proper background, beginning, middle, and end conclusion. How cool is that? Like, it gives us the full, full thing to go with. So... To give you some background, Bleach follows the story of a teenage boy who gains the power and sees ghosts. And, uh, you know, uh, as you can see in the Hikomondo, Ichigo and his friends travel to Hikomondo to rescue a friend. And as you can see, then it gives you the whole beginning of it. It gives you the whole middle. And then you can see the whole end. As the arc reaches its climax, Ichigo faces, you know, this. And then he does that. And all of this stuff. And then finally, a conclusion. And that, my friends, is a brief rundown of the Hueco Mundo arc of Bleach. It's a thrilling ride from start to finish with plenty of action, suspense, and emotional moments. If you're a fan of the series or just, you know, looking for a great anime to watch, be sure to check out Bleach and experience this epic arc for yourself. So, as you can see, pretty pretty nice, pretty good looking uh, texts, pretty good looking scripts. Now, let's say obviously this text is text is pretty dope but let's say we want the text to be in like the way or you know the form or you know maybe you want to make it sound like like you don't want to make it sound too professional you want to make it sound a bit like it comes from a teenager so you can like right can you say all that sounding like a teenager okay and now once you do that, sure, as you can see, sure, I can write in way more casual conversational tone than my appeal to a teenager. So as you can see, hey, what's up, anime fans? So basically, we're going to do this. And as you can see, it uses a, a lot of words and a lot of ways of speaking that, you know, are pretty identical to a proper teenager. So as you can see, you got to check out this arc ASAP and all that stuff, you know, pretty, pretty nice, pretty basic stuff. Now, once you have your text, like, you know, you have a proper structure of everything. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and discuss, like, obviously, we have the text, but how are you going to implement it in the actual video? Now, there are two different ways, okay? You can either do what I'm doing, okay? Grab a mic and start doing a voiceover of it, okay? Start reading this text and, uh, you know, just 
voiceover along with it. Okay, that's the first possibility. The second possibility is you can go ahead and convert this text to speech. Now, what that will do is all you're going to need to do is you're going to copy this text, paste it in a text to speech AI prompt. And once you do that, what it's going to do for you in that case is it's going to allow you to have a very nice text to speech with all this text compiled. You're probably wondering, how is that possible? So much text, how will it copy all that? So let me show you. You're going to go in new tab and you're going to write Speechify. Okay. Now, Speechify is a basically a free text to speech voice recorder. And once you come to Speechify, as you can see, you can see all these prompts that Speechify brings you pretty user friendly. So as you can see, you can uh, go through all these things. Number one, text to speech reader, power through docs, articles, etc. You know, see all these things, get more with text to speech, maximize your time, do more at once. You know, a lot of things to uncover over here. But obviously, to get into the text to speech, you're going to come here on text to speech and click on online. And once you click on online, as you can see, it brings you over here. So type a text to speech online, type page or upload a document. So I'm going to click on backspace. Okay, let's go with this one, you know, the teenager one that we picked off. And I'm going to copy this, come here and paste it. Now, basically, over here, as you can see, you have four different voices as well. So you can right now do it as Snoop Dogg if you want to. Gwyneth hey, Paltrow. what's up, fellow? Now, obviously, you can choose this normal person, Matthew, or a proper narrator, which is an English male. Okay, let, let's try it in Snoop Dogg's voice going to dive into the Hugo Mundell arc of Bleach. It's one of the coolest story arcs in the series. How cool is that? Do you hear how spot on it is? Let's go to Gwyneth Paltrow. Series, so get ready for some serious excitement. So basically, Bleach is all about this teenage dude named Ikigo who gains the power to see ghosts and become... How cool is that? Let's move over to Matthew. Becomes a soul reaper. Now... In this arc... He and his friends travel As to the world see, of the hollows. If you notice, Matthew sounds a lot like those voiceovers you see on YouTube with, you know, anime videos, viral facts and all that. So, yes, Matthew is who everyone basically uses for those videos. Called Wekomundo to save their friend Orihime. So how cool is that? And then you can also use a narrator voice. You can choose the speed of the words, you know, how many words you want per minute and all that. You know, try speech or voice voiceover. And once you do that, yeah. Pretty much good to go from there on out. So how cool is that? How amazing is this? Like you have your script and you have your text to speech. So that basically stacks you up and it gets you good to go with all those stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Now, if you want found this in video informational, please drop down a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, until then, I hope you all keep having a great day. That was all from me and I will be seeing all of you next time. Goodbye.